will affect her chances at the polls in Queensland next weekend? Well, I wouldn't think it would have any impact at all. I mean, the people who are, are very rusted on supporters of Pauline would basically think she'd been betrayed and see that as being, you know, very much in her favour in the sense the victim scenario. And uh, those who were sort of a bit each way would think it was another reason to go perhaps the other way. Is this out of character? Were you surprised when you heard about this? Well, the only thing that really surprises me about it is that, you know, from her point of view, if indeed the photos are taken when she's 19 years old, she's a newly married young mother. And I would have thought that that was, well, in, in my view, that would be embarrassing and, and tarnishing from her perspective. So, you know, on the one hand, you have this sort of low life that's released the photos, and then you also have this sudden sort of 30-year secret of this infidelity as a young mother. So it's a two-edged sword right round. If you were her political adviser now, how would you feel about this this morning? Oh, I wouldn't see it as an issue from a political point of view. I think it's a morality issue, but that's for others to judge. Um, and it's a 30-year-old morality issue or a 35-year-old morality issue. So from a strictly political point of view, I'd see it as a, a good spread from a victim situation. This is a low act of a bloke. Um, this is private, it shouldn't have been released and it's very unfortunate and you would see it really as being a, a political bonus from Pauline's point of view from an advertising and, and marketing perspective. So puts her name out there, might win her a few votes in fact. Oh certainly yes, create um, a great level of sympathy I would think. How would you describe the pictures? Oh tawdry. And Pauline might say it's nothing that you haven't seen before. She said that you had a bit of a thing way back when. Well, there's plenty in the pictures I haven't seen before, but I mean, these are things which I've always maintained, ladies and gentlemen, don't discuss. So you're not denying that you had a thing? No, I've always Pauline. denied it. Oh, mm. so you are denying it? I've always denied it, yes. Okay, well, thanks for your time, David. No, it's a pleasure. It's Anything a pleasure. else you well, want? Well, I, I, I'm just wondering whether you've looked at the possibility that this has actually been created intentionally because when, now that you've got Max Markson involved as a celebrity agent and all that, I just find the timing of this to be quite amazing. The pictures would have been worth so much more 10 years ago to this bloke, far, far more, whereas now it would seem to be a good marketing ploy in the victim scenario, I would have thought. So you think possibly it's a political ruse to, to help her win office? Well, if she's got the same sort of coverage on the front pages of the Courier Mail as she has on the Sunday Telegraph, then it's certainly been a tremendous bonus from a PR and general promotion point of view one week out from the election. Why do you think Pauline's running for office again? Is it, does she want to do something for Australia? Does she need the money? What do you make of her motives? I think these days it's really all about magazines, it's all about personal appearance. I think it is all about making a living these days more than anything else. And especially once you've got, you know, sort of an agent on 20% and you want the Women's Day and the and the various you know, women and you new know, idea and women's weekly magazine articles and the appearances and all that, it becomes a, an entirely different scenario. I don't think it's politically related and I don't think Pauline has really been seriously politically related for many, many, many years. What do you rate our chances next weekend? Look, it's hard to say. It's an election where the local member is retiring, Lingard, who is a local member, is retiring. There'd be plenty of people not wanting to vote ALP and also those not enamoured with the National Party. So anything's possible. I wouldn't suspect it's very likely, but I wouldn't be surprised if she do, does reasonably well given the overall circumstances of that particular election. You talk about perhaps it being a ploy from her agent. Do you think that Pauline would be willing to get behind that, put those photos out there? Oh, yes, yes. I wouldn't think that that would personally embarrass her. She wouldn't be she wouldn't be reconciling the concept of well I was 19, newly married, young ch young child. She wouldn't be thinking down that way and she wouldn't probably expect that most people would catch on to that part. She would just appear to have been a young girl who was taken advantage of by some bloke who later sold the photos. Like so many celebrities have been uh, you know, as we all know in, in past decades. You never heard anything about it back in 96? No, no. We heard lots of things but not about this particular episode. She's full of surprises. Thank you, David. And no doubt more to come. Yes. <laughs>